Hey guys, um, I know I'm doing a lot of videos today, but, um, well, I finished the book of Second Estras, and, um, you know, this isn't the first time I've read this book, but of course, you know, we read these books, and, um, and as we learn more and more, line by line, precept by precept, um, we come back to them, and then, and we just gain more and more wisdom, and, and the amount of wisdom in Second Estras is very overwhelming. And I'm not saying every syllable in the book, um, I don't know, it has to be studied out. But there are things that are just, that really unlock what is in our Bibles. And um, there's so much to talk about. But there's one thing that um, I picked up on at the very close of the book. And I wanted to share for the body of Christ. Because... Look, we all don't have the answers. None of us have the answers. It's impossible to really know how God's judgment is going to go down. But we can find pieces here and there, okay? And, um, but something I see in the prophecies, and I'm sharing this because it's just important to share, okay? Um, maybe this is the day of Jacob's trouble. I don't, I'm not an expert on Jacob's trouble, but I want to refer everybody to the book of Obadiah. It is one chapter, a very easy read. So let's talk about the book of Obadiah, okay? Um, Obadiah starts with, um, all the way up to the first ten verses, it's referring to the heathen that are already, um, I mean the heathen, the ones of Esau, the ones of Edom, um, the word, you know, those who are targeted individuals, your gang stalkers, for example, um, this is addressing them who are already at future Jerusalem or whatever. Okay? Now, when we get to like verses 10 and 11, um, it talks about a day of calamity that Jacob will have to endure. And that's us. Okay? I'm not trying to invoke fear. Um, we have to read the word of God. God will deliver. And yes, yes, I believe he could take his first fruits at any time. We all have, I know we all have different beliefs. But I'm just, I'm just pointing this stuff out, guys. So as we read the book of Obadiah, because this is the easiest way to see this in the prophecies. Um, God is addressing... Uh, the heathen, okay? And what this book is about is that the people of God, or the body of Christ, um, are going to be plundered. Now remember, in my video I did just earlier today, we talked about how we might have foreigners come on our soil. And this is again found in the book of Obadiah. And they will, and according to prophecy, they will plunder us. There will be a great um, insurrection against the people who still choose to fear the Lord. So, you know, I really hope God, you guys are following me, but now I'm just, things are like piecing together. The video I did earlier today, uh, the ten tri in Second Esther, is the ten tribes of Israel will go to another land. Okay? Um, Something, keep that on in, in your heads. Now listen to Obadiah. Okay, this is addressing the heathen. For your violence against your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you, and you shall be cut off forever. Okay, we, um, you can see my seal of moments, what, the, what that's about. In the day that you stood on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even you were as one of them. So, the book of Obadiah is saying foreigners are going to come into our land, and they are going to persecute the people of God. And the heathen are going to be like, aha, we got them, and they're just going to join in. And they're going to plunder us even worse. Now, what does Jesus say? And... And when that happens, that's when the Lord comes and rebukes. And they, and they are just destroyed forever in an instant. 
um, or their shame covers them. His judgment just falls. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises a standard. Okay? Are you guys piecing together the connection, you know, these pieces um, that we've covered all throughout today? Now, what did Jesus say in the Gospels? If you need confirmation, when he comes, will he find faith in the land? Let's look in the book of Obadiah, okay? Verses 10 through 12. And um, so it is talking about we will be plundered. Um, if you need more confirmation, do a topic search of Aha in uh, the Psalms. It says, um, when the heathens say Aha, see, we got them. Um, in an instant, they will be turned to shame and destroyed forever. For when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction comes on them. I know a lot of people are saying that, using that verse for the peace deal in Israel, but Daniel 9 says that peace deal in Israel is going to be drawn out for years and years. So how could sudden destruction come upon people who are drawing out something for years and years? Um, I don't think that applies. Um, I think it applies to um, what we're reading about in Obadiah is the easiest way to see it, okay? Um, is that we will have foreigners come on our land and they will persecute those who choose to still fear the Lord. Do you see the pieces coming together of what we've been gathering throughout today in these videos on this channel? Um, this is what the book of Obadiah is saying. And on top of that, the heathen who are our enemies on our soil are just going to jump right on top of that. And they're going to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're going to plunder us even more. And that's when, you know, when Jesus, and that's when the Lord comes. Right then. Right when they say, because that's what the prophecy is about. When the heathen say, you know, when they plundered us while we were being plundered. Um, painful to think about. That's when the Lord raises a standard. And um, paradigm shift. And um, so, yeah. Um, the book of Second Esdras addresses this. What's so blatantly in Obadiah. Um, in the closing verses. And I'm, I will leave the link in the description box. But I will read it. These verses, okay? Now, um, the last chapter of Second Esther covers a lot of things. From even a rebuke to China, probably. But... Um, I'm not going to get into that. Um, the last couple verses here, starting in verse 70 through verse 73, okay, covers what we're reading so blatantly in Obadiah. For in many places and in neighboring cities there shall be, there shall be a great insurrection against those who fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing no one, but plundering and destroying those who continue to fear the Lord. For they shall destroy and plunder their goods and drive them out of their houses. All right, key verse, verse 73. Then the test, this is uh, the pearl here, okay, of what we cannot find in our Bibles. Then the tested quality of my elect shall be manifest as gold that is tested by fire. Okay, so what did Jesus say? When he comes, will he, will he still find faith in the land? I think this is a key to this. At least this dimension of the, of the prophecies. Okay, so I'm going to repeat myself again. You, Obadiah is one chapter, guys. You can read it in five minutes. So, I covered basically what Obadiah is about. It's addressing the heathen who are already on our soil. And it's talking about foreigners coming on our soil and the heathen just, just jumping on top of that. So we get double plundered. And the book of Second Esther says, this will happen to those who are choosing to fear the Lord. So perhaps this is a piece of the puzzle of the stuff we covered earlier today, that the 10 tribes of Israel will leave the land and go their own way so they could still be the body of Christ. Um, that's a possibility. Something, you know, those who are following this stuff, um, this stuff is piecing together, it seems. And I'll repeat myself. Jesus said, will we find faith in the land when he comes? In the Psalms, I mean, this stuff is all over. Um, you know, just do aha. A-H-A, I think it's spelled in the Psalms. Just do a It's in there like two or three times. 
when the heathens say, Aha, we got him, that's when the Lord raises a standard against them. When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction comes upon them. What is that su sudden destruction? The paradigm shift. When the works of our lives, when we are rewarded according to our works, and to, and to the heathen, they will literally be sh clothed in shame, clothed in death. Okay? And they will be as stubble to the fire. So, um, you don't want to be them. And the and the last chapter of Second Esther covers this stuff as well, but you can find this all throughout the prophecies. Guys, I understand if people like don't follow me, don't follow this stuff, but but you really need to read, you know, just stay in the words, stay in the text. Um the extra biblical texts do give so much knowledge. And yes, there are some that are false, but stay in the ones that we know that are true. The book of Enoch. Okay, stay in the book of Enoch. Second Esther is, is another one. The book of Second Baruch is another one to stay in. Um, stuff like that. Uh, the Wisdom of Solomon is um, another fantastic text. Um, so, okay. So, just to recap. Uh, this stuff will be in the link below. Uh, the book of Obadiah uh, covers this blatantly, what I'm, what I'm talking about here. Um, it's just preparing our hearts for what has not come to pass yet. Um, maybe not all of us will see this day. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's um, Let us not be unteachable, please. Um, you know, I'm I, speaking to myself, too. So, okay, I hope... Uh, it's just an interesting piece of the puzzle. Like, Second Esther 16, verse 73 is like a pearl of wisdom here. That... Um, you know, then the tested quality of my elect shall be made manifest as gold that is tested by fire. Um, it's amazing. Okay, God bless. Thank you for watching.